I don't want your sympathy. I really, really don't. I'm at the age where young people say, you look good for 56. What they're really thinking is, you're going to die very, very soon. I don't really blame them. They're used to grading on a curve. I look good for 56. If I was 46, they'd be calling 911. I just had my annual physical. What an actual shit show that's become, I'll tell you. I told the doctor to dumb it down and pretend that I'm a car. And he said, well, in that case, your drive shaft and your muffler is shot. And all the valves and seals are done. And I said, well, that explains why I shit every time I take off my pants. True story. I, I got a text from my dog that said, I have an incredible sense of smell. What the fuck are you eating? Quit petting me. <laughs> That's kind of hurtful, actually. Speaking of hurtful, every year my doctor sticks his finger up my ass. Oh, God. Sorry, but... Uh, and it dawned on me, I don't even know why. <laughs> and now I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> In case he says no reason. <laughs> I just thought we had an understanding. <laughs> Actually, that's not what really bothers me. What bothers me is right when he has his middle finger Louisville slugger up my rectum, he whispers, sorry. <laughs> sorry? What am I supposed to say to that? Really? It's not your fault I had it coming? It's not you, it's me? I didn't even have to say he was sorry. I'll tell you what, the first time it happened, he told me to get naked, he got... He left the room, he came back in, he told me to put my elbows on the table and he lathered up a rubber glove. And that kinda happened to me on spring break. <laughs> so I knew where it was going, he didn't have to say he was sorry. Now if he just sneaks up behind me at the Strassen Fest and sticks a finger up my ass, then he's gonna have to say he's sorry. <laughs> Little man couple it up. Then I asked him about Viagra, he said, well hey Scott, won't you start using it the natural machinery may not work the way you want it to. So I said, well, here's a news flash for you, Dr. Cronkite. <laughs> if the natural machinery worked the way I want to drive, would you be bringing it up now, would I? <laughs> That's not on my bucket list to tell the other dude Mr. Incredible's not living up to his potential at this point. So he said, fine, fine, fine. He went out and grabbed a big box of samples. He came back in the room. I grabbed it from his hand and just started running home. <laughs> Down the steps. Past my car. I'm running down ballast, naked, with a rubber glove sticking out of my ass. People are yelling, yelling, run for us, run. I get home, I show my wife, she goes, I'm not fucking you for four hours. I said, that's fine, I'll pour, find four women for an hour each. She goes, based on my experience, you need to find 48 women for 10 minutes each. I said, fine, I just gave it the dog, which he seemed to like. But we didn't see the cat for a couple of weeks. And when he came home, he was walking kind of funny, looking all pissed off, and I just looked at him and said, sorry. All right, that's all I said, yeah. That is in here, everybody. Come back. Every day, man. We love you. Oh, Scott, man. This shit, Scott, man. All right. Uh, your next comic of the night is also a female comedian. She finna come represent for the ladies in here, man. 